Hey everybody, this is a Nintendo Switch, and this is Steam Big Picture Mode being streamed to it. But, how do you do this? And is it worth the effort to go through all this trouble just so you can play Steam games on your Nintendo Switch? Join me as we go through the process of configuring Moonlight on Nintendo Switch. First things first, you're gonna need a Nintendo Switch, and you're gonna need to be able to mod it. I have an original Nintendo Switch, and mine is very easy to modify. So find out what your Nintendo Switch model is and Google how do I mod this, all right? We're not covering how to mod Nintendo Switches in this video. I just thought I'd get that out of the way right now. Another prerequisite is a decent home network and a home PC with a decent GPU in it so it can not only play games, but encode the video to be sent off to the Nintendo Switch. In my home environment, my PC is hardwired to the LAN and I have a five gigahertz access point from Ubiquity. Before we get to configuring the Nintendo Switch, let's set up our PC. You're going to want to install the Sunshine server onto your PC. Sunshine server allows your Nintendo Switch to connect to your PC and receive the signal via the Moonlight client. So navigate to the Sunshine GitHub page and download the installer. If at any time you get stuck, please go ahead and consult the documentation for Sunshine. I've included a link to that in the description below. Another bit of software I found I needed is called VGAM Bus. Without this, I wasn't able to enter any button presses with the Nintendo Switch controller. So you might want to install this before you attempt connecting. Now back on our Nintendo Switch, we want to launch the homebrew menu in title mode. To do this, Select any game, hold R, and start the game. Instead of loading the game, it will load the homebrew menu. If we don't do this, Moonlight will not be able to run, but you can simply fix this by closing the homebrew menu and redoing it and loading in title mode. Next, we'll use the homebrew app store to go ahead and find and install Moonlight. Now we can navigate over to the Moonlight client and connect it for the very first time. First, you need to know the IP address of the server running on your home network. In my case, that is 192.168.69.100. You're gonna wanna go press OK, and it will attempt to connect to the PC of your choice. Note, mine was already paired. However, if it's the first time connecting that PC, you'll have to enter a code on the PC. Example shown here. Before we get started, I quickly want to go over some of the settings. The first setting I want to go over is the way to bring up the Steam Big Picture menu. You need to set the hotkey, and you can do that right there. The next option is for bringing up the Moonlight menu, and I like setting that to be the same hotkey, just about three seconds holding. That way you can change any settings you need while playing games. Okay, so the wait's over now, and we're going to connect to Steam. And boom, there it is, Steam Big Picture Mode, in all of its glory, ready for us to use on our Nintendo Switch. So let's navigate and launch a game. Let's play Half-Life 2. That seems appropriate. You just hit play, and of course, it's Steam Big Picture, so it, it's, it's pretty much exactly what you expect. And overall, I'm pretty happy with uh, the performance, and uh, well, you'll see for yourself right here. Wake up and smell the ashes. And if you still don't believe me, let's go and show it running on a handheld. This time we're going to play Fallout New Vegas. Overall, I'm really happy with how, um, well, Steam games can be streamed to the Nintendo Switch. This is a great use of my Switch's hardware, which, to be honest, I barely use my Switch, and I also own an ROG Ally, which is much, much bigger. This is great, um, but of course, I can't easily take this out of the house and stream games without a very good internet connection. So, as something to like lay around the house and, you know, just play games, this is much lighter and easier to use than ROG Ally. But of course, you need a modded Switch, etc. But it runs great. Um, I'm running on a 5 gigahertz network, uh, for example, and my PC is hardwired. Again, depending on your wireless configuration in your home, your mileage may vary, but overall, this is really good. Like, I'm genuinely impressed at how much I like this. Like, this is such a light little handheld, 
and a great use for my aging switch, which to be honest, does nothing. I haven't touched it in months. So yeah, this is great. I mean, look at, look at how New Vegas is running. It's streaming great and uh, it's very responsive. I could totally play this uh, as per normal. Um, yeah, no, this is good. This is great. Now I've also configured some button presses here. By default, when you push this, this would load uh, an overlay menu, which I've set to be five seconds. And this allows us to exit the application, etc., etc. Now, pressing it once, though, will bring up the Steam menu, which is great. So now we can access Steam and all of our settings. And overall, it's turned this into like. Not a Steam Deck, but a Steam Receiver, uh, which is really handy and really fun. Hey, thanks again for watching. Links to all the installers are in the description below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe, and check out some of my other videos. My content's a bit eclectic, but it is what it is. See you next time.